Over the last 15 years, Gates PCM Construction Limited has displayed exponential growth and ever-enhancing caliber in the railway construction and maintenance industry. As a local leader in this niche industry, the company's role is integral in ensuring that Singapore's biggest mode of public transport engages effectively. My name is Kitna Sami, son of Marudapan. I'm the CEO and managing the, uh, chairman of the company. And uh, it was founded by me itself. Uh, the company is Gates PCM Construction Limited. Uh, we were born in a very large family. Uh, my father was a, a cow farm. Uh, uh, he operates a cow farm, quite a large cow farm. Um, with, uh, initially, he had a couple of workers with him. And then, we, as we grow, he uh, cut down all the workers and we used to help him in the farm. Um, we have three sisters and seven brothers together, ten in the family, uh, plus me, nine the other siblings. And uh, I didn't like the way uh, how my life was going. Um, like all of them are involved in the farm. After school, we throw our bags, get into the farm, help my parents, right? Mom is a housewife. She takes care of the cooking and housekeeping. And that milk, and sell the milk for uh, living. Um, also, we had uh, other goat, chicken, everything you want for a family, everything was in the farm, right? You don't have to go to market and so on. That way, we were lucky, right? But I didn't want to carry on with this kind of thing. So I keep telling my brothers that um, we should do something, right? And they didn't agree with me. And uh, initially, I was always building something that, uh, okay, nobody will kickstart, I have to kickstart something. So, as little as even buying a bicycle, I want to be the first one to buy. So, that was my motto, my inspiration to go. My two brothers were in the piling uh, industry, um, working for somebody in piling. Every day, I go and see them. Once they go for lunch, I will go and uh, try to see what they are doing and can I do and so on like that. So when they come back, they will hit me and say, go back, this is not your field, you should not be here, another thing. So, but I still carry on, right? Then the, the time come when I went into army, I completed my army and I started talking to them again and again, but they refused totally. They says, this industry is not belongs to us. You cannot. This is very dangerous. Um, it has a lot of skill uh, and so on. Even my father discouraged me from doing it. But I was adamant and I went to my brother's bosses and spoke to them. Uh, initially, he hesitated totally. He says, you are too young. You should not be thinking. First of all, you must learn. I says, I have learned enough and I'm a quick learner. I, can, I know what I'm talking about. So he chased me up. After a few days, I went back to him. Second approach, third approach. Then he feels that, okay, I'm adamant, should be given a chance, right? And uh, initially, I went to ask him not to work. Say that I want to subcontract some work from you. Then he says, no, Who, where is your man? Where is your team? I says, if you promise to give me, I'll find the team. I'll, I'll make the team, I know exactly. And I uh, use my brother's name that they are working here for so long. I might even take them together, right? Then he says, no, you have to work. I says, no, I'm not going to work for anybody. I have not worked before, except my NS. So he says, no, you have to know. You have to prove that you can do something. So I says, okay, I'll become a supervisor. And if you are happy, from there you should give. So I agreed and went for a supervisor for a month and I proved myself and he accepted and gave me the first contract. When in the old days, um, you are younger than elder ones. So the elder one, not too happy to work with the younger brother. 
right? Like uh, younger brother wants to command, all this, and uh, their wives will discourage them. So it did happen all this. Uh, I managed to bring my second brother in to the business and um, I gave him a separate section, you run this uh, with my guidance. And uh, then my elder brother finally came in in 1985, I think. Yeah, 85, for a very short period and he was discouraged by his wife and he went back, right? Till today he's still on his own, he's still a working class person. But my other brothers are all in business, which I brought them one by one. And there comes a bad time. In 1997, the financial crisis wiped out totally. Right? Uh, I had quite a bit of um, missionaries, assets, but it's no use. And again, it was not my fault for the losses, as I was not paid for my work. The situation was such that everybody you go and chase for payment, they say, please wind up my company. So I lost quite a bad loss. Um, I was even reaching toward a bankruptcy. But I didn't went into bankruptcy. I recovered myself immediately. Right? I asked the judge for enough time to recover and I recovered. So from one particular uh, team to 30 over teams we built. Every day is a learning curve, that's what I would say. And we learn each time there is an obstacle, we learn how to solve this, how to move forward. That was our challenging part at all time. Getting back was not the easiest moment at all uh, because I have to change trade now. The construction industrial went completely out. That means uh, the construction industrial is finished in Singapore. The economy was so bad. Um, the buildings all built, road built, now only railways was there. So I was finding for who can guide me into this. So I managed to find a, a white guy called as David Cottrell. He's not only teaching me, he also gave me a big job in, uh, in Thailand. That was our first MRT job, I mean a railway job. A job can be done in 10 ways, 20 ways, right? But uh, the end result should be satisfied to the client. One, cost-wise, right? Quality-wise, everything has to be there. So some of them, their thinking is different. Ah, uh, my duty to complete this job, that's it. Right? What it costs, they don't bother. My, my policy will say that whenever you want to do something, sit down, think for a moment, plan it well, right? Once you plan it well, the, uh, you can complete any kind of task in front of you. Planning is the most key part of the business. Initially, how they get, I want to do something. Okay, they, their mind is always copying something. Say there is a restaurant, crowded. They always, their mind says, oh, this business is good. I want to open a restaurant next to him, right? To put, share the, this is their instant ideas. But that should not be, must be innovative. Try to find something which is not be, uh, here or somebody is doing something, how you can improve that, right? And it's not going to be easy. Always plan it hard. Right? If you want to do something, yeah, business is ups and down. But when, when uh, you plan it well, you may struggle a little bit, but you still reach where you want to reach. But if you don't plan, your downfalls are very fast. It basically, your focus must be right. What you want to do. Once we move forward, there should not be coming backward. You just have to push yourself up.